What's up everybody? Welcome to another video and today I pretty much got for you guys kind of like a tutorial type of video and today what you're watching is how to get a nuke in COD Mobile. I do also want to know yes I'm not the best Call of Duty player in the entire world or whatever but if you're someone like me and it's and suck at getting nukes in like console versions of Call of Duty games and if I can get nukes on Call of Duty Mobile, so the fuck can you. First, we're gonna go over the setup that I use to actually get these nukes. All right, for barrel, we're going to have the OWC Heavy Barrel. The optic, we're gonna have the Red Dot Sight 1. For perk, I'm using FMJ Ammunition. We're gonna use the 200 round belt. And finally, we're going to use the stippled grip tape. Don't. Don't make fun of me if I got that name wrong. All right, for score streaks, we're gonna use UAV, counter UAV, and probably any other streak that you want to use, but I recommend not using any streaks that can kill people because that will actually compromise the nuke. And I've learned that using a, a score streak that can kill during a nuke will actually cancel the nuke so do not use score streaks to kill anybody for operator skill definitely use death machine there is no operator skill better than death machine in this game so i definitely recommend that to get your kills up and perks are basically preference, but the perks that I am using are Fast Recover, Vulture, which is basically just Scavenger, and Dead Silence. And maps can basically be preference too, depending on how good you are at a certain map. But I strongly um, recommend using Scrapyard 2019 and just setting that as your default map. As far as game modes go, I would strongly um, recommend Hardpoint. Either that or Domination. I have gotten nukes in Domination before, but Hardpoint is way easier at getting nukes in that game mode. So either set Hardpoint as your default game mode or Domination. And that is pretty much the setup that I use to get these nukes. It's probably not the best setup because I still have to level up my character. But, however, in this video, basically, you're going to be seeing me doing hardpoint because, honestly, that's my preference um, that honestly helps me get the nukes. Um, basically, every hardpoint match on Scrapyard 2019, it starts in the middle where you're watching right now. It always will start in that area, which is easy to go just go over there, snatch some kills. And you're not always going to come across noobs in this game because there are some good players, but a lot of the time you'll come across players that are actually um, fucking dog dookie. So, I mean, it, sometimes it'll be easy and sometimes it won't be easy getting a nuke. However, in this game, sometimes you will die from the absolute stupidest reasons and dumbest players in this game. That did happen to me in this match. I don't know if you caught that. You might have to go rewind and watch that. But that is the only time that I do die in this match. Um, I was on a good streak, but then died for s stupid reasons. But now we're back at it, and we're getting our fucking streaks up. We're killing boys, basically. And also, for anyone that is uncultured... Basically what a nuke is in the first place is just 30 kills without dying and that does happen in this match so yeah. Just to make sure when you're going for that nuke that you're paying attention to your your map um, and always activating your UAV and counter UAV so that um, you will always see their red dots on the map. And as you see here, I do officially get my nuke for the match, um, the, the nuclear bomb, if you will. However, I do not want to use the nuke until later in the match when we are about to win the match anyway. So I'm going to keep on going for my kills, getting them unstoppable medals, whatever, you know, doing my own thing. The best thing about Hardpoint, though, is that it's a pretty lengthy match. I would say maybe, um, I if I were to guess, each match is maybe 10 minutes. And that's pretty long for a mobile game, I would say. That's like, 
about the same length as like a console version of that uh, game mode maybe i i'm not sure but they're pretty lengthy games and um some like earlier i got a nuke even though i died three times and i was on pretty good streaks and i got a nuke still after dying three times with uh like three good streaks and now since we're pretty close at winning the match anyway i'm gonna go ahead and activate this motherfucking nuke and pretty much get this shit done with you know what i'm saying but hey if you're someone like me and it's so hard to get a freaking nuke because there's so many tryhards on console versions of call of duty games hey man be like me and come into call of duty mobile and get a freaking nuke you'll feel way better about yourself tell you what i feel like a fucking badass every time i get a nuke in this game but um anyway boys i hope this video was helpful for you um and i hope that you enjoyed it and it was informative to you um and yeah see you all in the next video peace mm -hmm.